I'd also, too, like to talk just a little bit about the double stroke roll because that has changed uh, fairly substantially for me um, as well as uh, everything else. Um, <clears throat> I used to do a double stroke roll in this manner, which is fairly even, but you'll notice the right hand is choked and tight, which uh, after all of this looseness uh, and all that development and that approach concept really started to feel wrong to me. Based on an exercise uh, that Freddie Gruber had given me at one time, uh, which was basically a bounce and a snap turning over. So it's almost starting in the finger position with the right hand over and then turning over uh, to the wrist position on the snap down, getting a nice solid hit, but not, not forcing it, but just solid. You'll notice this is a dual motion movement and it also allows the space to continue and the hand to be very loose. So rather than trying to get the double to pinch out from one position, um, I started working towards using this double position here. And it really helped loosen it up and get the sound to be bigger and fuller so that now it looks and sounds that, or feels that way, if you can hear the sound at all, difference from this, which is more choked to this, which opens up substantially anyway on the drums. Okay, so again, it's like a dual motion. It's a bounce and a snap. And the hand turns outward. The left hand hasn't changed all that much from the way I had done it in the past, which is basically opening up and closing. Okay? And snapping it into the hand. Okay? Now I also get some questions sometimes about a one-handed roll, quote unquote, that some people have seen me do for certain things. And this was uh, this is actually an extension of the double stroke roll on both hands. I think Ralph Humphreys calls it uh, reverse finger control in a way where you're actually bouncing the stick. And I was actually inspired to learn in the left hand by uh, by watching Buddy Rich do something um, one time on a, on a on a video that that just floored me. Now Buddy does it about twice as fast for about twice as long and, um, and his hand really doesn't move. But basically it's, uh, it's, it's the double stroke motion over and over again with both hands. And a lot of great players use this technique but it can really be used in a very musical situation for jazz when you're playing a jazz beat, you know, different type of things. Um, you get triplets going, if you're playing a samba, You get both hands doing the same type of thing. And again, this is, these are things I can show on the drums. But just understand that yet this is another way of making the stick move, another option, and it's uh, tied directly into the double stroke roll motion. Okay?